gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast because, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I'm the Nigerian Nemesis and this is the official face reveal for the channel guys So first off, I want to thank you guys all so much for all the support you have given me up until this point of my channel, we are currently sitting around 2670 subscribers right now and I think that's just absolutely crazy. I did not think I would come this far so soon and I just really want to thank you guys all so much for the support. And then the second thing I want to talk about is a huge shout out to Chloe. I am going to link her channel and her Twitter in the description down below. So guys, make sure to check her out. She is a Clash Royale YouTuber as well and she's a super awesome and nice person. She's the one that designed this overlay for the channel and I think it looks really nice, really clean and it's going to bring a lot of energy to the channel. And then another thing I want to talk about is my second channel called App Arcade. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me when am I going to upload different kinds of games to the channel and what I decided to do is make a completely different channel where I'll play so many different games and you guys can check that out. Link is also in the description and on that channel if we find a game that's really good I might bring it to the main channel. We will see what happens with that. And then another thing is we are quickly approaching 3,000 subscribers. So what I want to do when we when we reach 3,000 is do a Q&A video. So in all of my comment sections, go ahead and leave it down below. Hashtag Q&A, ask me all the questions you guys have and I'll try my best to answer as many of them as I can for a video. But as for today's video, what we're going to be doing is playing some 2v2 with my newly unlocked Mega Knight right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is the deck right here that I have been running. It is the P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight E-Wiz Bandit Minions, Elixir Collector, Ice Spirit, and the Zap Spell. It's been doing so much work in Grand Challenges. It's been doing work on the ladder as well, but of course my Mega Knight is only level 1. But we're just going to play 2v2, hang out, and chill for the rest of this video. So let's go with a quick match. I don't think I have anybody online right now. And let's see what happens. We are in the P.E.K.K.A.'s Playhouse, and it looks like my teammate Ped here is running a Hog Rider deck. So Ice Spirit is coming in, we're going to go down with an Ice Spirit of our own and see if we can sort of get a counter attack going. That's how you want to play this specific deck. <laughs> poison right there. Okay, so we're going to go with minions. Hopefully they don't go straight into the poison. But you want to save your P.E.K.K.A. and your Mega Knight for counter attacks. It looks like nothing is coming, so I'm going to go with a Bandit. It looks like my partner is going in there with the Hog Rider. We've got the Zap spell ready. They've got so many troops there. But this is where the Mega Knight is so good. I'm going to let the Lumberjack come just a little bit closer. And we're going to drop the Mega Knight down on top of the Electro Wizard. It works so much nicer when there are a lot of troops. But look at this. Look at the Mega Knight jump. He's going to take down those Goblins with ease. Bandit. Oh, well played. Well played. I'm going to hit him with a well played there. They dragged all that towards the King Tower. And they got it activated. So that's a very, very good play there. Let's go with our Elixir Collector down in the center and they've got an executioner coming i'm really not too worried about it though because we do have the pekka which is just so good they're gonna go off with a poison there and actually touch our king tower just because they wanted to get some insane value so i'm gonna say that's well played definitely worth there the executioner is coming in hot let's go with an e on top of all this so e is going down he will get taken no he's still alive we are gonna get our bandit down out in front now and prepare our zap for that goblin gang so zap is ready let's see here do we get a dash off she's gonna dash right through the log and get some serious damage onto that tower i've got my minions ready for the electro wizard and overall we're doing a pretty good job so let's get another elixir collector down onto the map and see if we can take charge in this game log going down i've got my zap ready they've got that tornado of course that was actually a very good log. Hog Rider I will not get a shot off onto the tower. So maybe I should have zapped there and taken down that Spear Goblin, but I didn't see the worth in doing that. And now that we are almost in double elixir time, what I'm going to do is start off with a slow P.E.K.K.A. because it doesn't look like they have the Infernal Tower or the Infernal Dragon, so we should be fine here. P.E.K.K.A. is down. He's going to support it with the Bandit. They're going to go with an Executioner push. And actually, let's, let's drop a Mega Knight on the opposite side and drop minions over the top of it, which is what I like doing with this deck. Just because they do have the Executioner and the Tornado combination. So here we go. Minions over the top. Pekka's going to do a great job taking out the Executioner right here. And then we're going to support it with a Bandit. So they have two very deadly pushes that they need to deal with ASAP. Hog Rider is on the tower. The Mega Knight got a jump off. Bandit got a dash on the left hand tower. Let's go ahead and zap these minions down to their death. Bandit doing so much work. Pekka will not get a shot off onto the tower though but we made a serious charge there he's gonna drop off another aggressive bandit but in the meantime we are gonna go with an elixir collector 
and get our P.E.K.K.A. ready right here for the counter attack. We need to get enough Elixir for this because I think they're going to come in super hard here. Can we get it down? P.E.K.K.A. is going down. The Wizard will do a great job targeting the, the Hog Rider. And now we have a nice little counter push going. And since he is going, they've got a poison. They've got so many poison. Let's go ban it on the opposite lane with an Ice Beard. I've got my Zap prepared as well. That's just to distract them a little bit. Pekka will be through. They're going to send off a log. So log going to the tower. Pekka is on the tower. And that's going to be the end of the game. The lightning does come in a little bit late there. So we were able to secure the video, uh, to secure the W going 1-0 in the video. So guys, definitely give this deck a try if you are playing 2v2. Let's see if anybody actually is online. We've got four friends online. So we'll do 2v2, play with a friend, and see if one of my clan mates actually wants to play with me. We'll give it like three, four, or five seconds. We'll see here and see what happens. But how much luck did you guys have in the Mega Knight Challenge? I thought it was a lot of fun. We managed to get the Mega Knight on our first try, so I think that was really awesome. And it's just obviously a really broken card in the game right now. I think it's so good at counterattacking, and I think that the best decks to use the Mega Knight in right now is either the Mega Knight P.E.K.K.A. combination, Mega Knight with Hog, or with the Miner. So it looks like none of our friends wants to join us in 2v2. So we'll do two more battles, but obviously in the quick match. And also, are you guys enjoying right now 2v2 and the unlimited amount of time that we can play it? I think it brings a lot of diversity to the game whenever you don't want to try hard and you still want to unlock all of your chests. I think that 2v2 does a great job with that. But now we have our Elixir Collector down in the center of the map. Goblin Barrel going over the top left. We've got our Mega Knight selected here to go for a counter attack on top of the uh, Executioner and the Ice Wizard and the Bandit here. So boom, Mega Knight goes down. I did miss the Ice Wizard though. We've got the Ice Wizard just to slow things down a little bit more. And we are going to drop our Bandit behind the Mega Knight. He should stay alive long enough to tank for the Bandit. Uh, Mega Minion does go down there. And now the Bandit oh, will not get a dash off. He's going to get a dash off onto the Ice Wizard instead there. And hopefully she does take him down. Let's go with a Zap here. I don't know if that was worth but we did manage to stop the Ice Wizard. Barbarians did a lot of work there, but we did get a little bit of damage off. Tower is now down to 2364. And what I'm going to do here instead is go with another Elixir Collector and continue to build up the Elixir advantage in this game. Princess will probably... Oh, they've got that. Let's go with Minions here. Good. He has a Skeleton Army. I've got my Ice Spirit in case they do zap. They decided to zap the Minions there. I don't know about that. Bandit will get a dash off. On the right hand tower though, so I guess they did get a little bit of damage and that Ice Golem did a great job there as well. Let's send in the Ice Spirit to support. And then we're going to go Bandit over here on the left hand side, see if we can get a dash off onto that tower. I've got to get my, uh, I've got to get my Mega Knight ready for this, this push that's coming on the left. That I'm assuming they're bringing a Hog Rider with, but just in case, I don't want to send down my Elixir Collector too early. It looks like no Hog Rider is coming, so we are going to send down the Elixir Collector. They got scared of the Infernal Tower, so very, very good stuff for us there. And we, okay, I have my Zap ready. Yeah, they have the Mega Minion. I'm expecting the Barbarians. They actually have the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so we're going to go with a P.E.K.K.A. of our own here. And then if I can't get back to my E-Wiz, that'd be really clutch. I might have played that a little bit too far back. Ice Spirit will not get a jump off. We've got the Minions here. We, let's go E-Wiz. The E-Wiz, the main reason why I play the E-Wiz is because he does slow down the opponent's P.E.K.K.A. And then our P.E.K.K.A. can get so many shots off without taking much in return. So let's go down with another Elixir Collector. Just be very aggressive. And then we're going to drop Miner on the, or Bandit on the right. That should be able to get a dash off right through that Mega Minion. No, it's going to get a dash off and hit their Bandit as well. And down goes their Wizard, but they do have that, those Barbarians in defense. But here we go. It's time for us to take advantage of this game. Wizard is going to do a great job taking those troops down there. And I will send, uh, we'll go Mega Knight in front. Mega Knight is down with the Wizard to follow up, guys. So he's going to go Hog Rider. Let's go with an e -Wiz to support that. They're going to drop off a Golem, but that was probably a bad move. They have no Elixir left. Zap is down on the map. They've got the Goblin Barrel going to the tower. Hog Rider is going to take it down. And the Mega Knight Wizard and the Minions did a great job there. Shutting down that Golem with no problem. Let's go Ice Spirit. And I'm probably going to play the P.E.K.K.A. here on the right. Yeah, P.E.K.K.A. on the right to stop that. Stop the Bandit from getting to our tower. They've got the Giant Skeleton, but the Giant Skeleton does nothing if he's still alive. So without the death damage, we are going to secure the victory in the second battle. So 2-0 right now in 2v2. And as you guys can tell, this deck is definitely very strong and I highly recommend it. So hopping into the third and final battle here in 2v2. We actually have a request. That's what I'm talking about. Let's join Tao Pao for the last battle. And guys, if you do want to join the clan, the name is Rose Session. I will be dropping the trophy requirement down to 3,400 because I think 3,600 is just a little bit too high. And then I also have a feeder clan called Rose Session too. So go ahead and get into that as well. Let's drop off a bandit here. Hopefully she does get a dash off onto one of those fire spirits. She will not. And I don't have my elixir collector in the early hand. He's going to drop off a... Oh, I thought he was going to drop the rocket off. But he did drop the... 
<laughs> he dropped off his arrows and the arrows missed the princess. That's absolutely hilarious. So what we're going to do here is go with an elixir collector. Hopefully that princess does not hit it. It will not. I've got my zap for the goblin barrel. Yeah, they've got level 10 goblin, so we will take that down. Ice spirit to distract the princess just for a little bit longer. And now our knight should be able to take that down. And then once that bowler does come onto our side of the map, I'll play a P.E.K.K.A to take it out. And that's going to be very good for us. And I'm hoping that they do play a giant or like a golem in front of that bowler. So we can get so much value out of the P.E.K.K.A, which is why I'm loving it right now. So we're going to go bandit in the back. Uh, they might have graveyard. Graveyard is what I'm thinking right now. Yep, graveyard. So we're going to go P.E.K.K.A at the bridge. That's going to stop the knight and keep the bowler on that side of the field. And that'll give our tower a chance to take it down. The skeleton did get a hit off onto our elixir collector but it was definitely worth it because they also activated both of our king towers so maybe we can get some damage off here bandit will take down that that take down the uh goblin there but and almost take down the princess but to no avail princess is still alive doing a lot of damage and they got their rocket off onto our tower so that wasn't really too nice but i think what i'm gonna do here is start off with a we're gonna go mega knight on the right They've already dropped off a couple of troops there on the left. Let's drop off an Ice Beard to distract their baby dragon just for a little bit. They're going to scream wild because they know, they know that the Mega Knight means business whenever he's on the field. Let's go with a Bandit to support. Hopefully that Goblin Barrel gets off a lot of damage as well. Let's go Minions over the top. Zap is prepared. He's going to pre-arrow there. They've got the Infernal Tower in the back, but that's going to target our Goblins for the most part. Mega Knight gets a jump off on, I don't know what, but can he get a jump off on the tower? That's going to be the goal here. Let's zap. He's going to jump the log. He is going to jump the log, guys, and get a shot off onto the tower. So the pro plays coming out with the Mega Knight. They're going to go Ewis to distract here. That's going to zap it down. They've got a bowler coming back at us once again, but nothing that a P.E.K.K.A. cannot take care of. The Rocket will get some extreme value. <laughs> he missed the tower with the Rocket, guys. This is why I love 2v2. So many crazy things happen. Mega Knight will get a jump off onto the bowl, then he's going to get another jump off onto the furnace. Let's get our bandit down, and let's get some minions down as well, and hopefully we can get a shot off onto the tower. And there we go, the bandit gets a dash off and takes the tower down for us. So all we have to do is defend and not let them get any more damage off because they do have the rocket. So let's go Zappy, that's going to take it down, he's going to arrow as well. So over defending there, but not too bad, not too bad, we've got 10 seconds left. I got my Ewiz down for these goblins, so Ewiz is down, I got my Ice Spear. We probably need to get back to our Mega Knight, maybe. Bandit going down. Super defense here, boys. And we are going to secure the W right there for the third and final battle using this unbelievable P.E.K.K.A. Mega Knight deck that I do recommend for Grand Challenges especially. I might make a video on that as well, but that's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck for you guys one more time in case you do want to give it a shot. And I, I do recommend it. If you don't have the Bandit, well, this is a legendary heavy deck. So if you don't have the Bandit, I would say go with a Knight or a Lumberjack. If you don't have the Ewiz, you can use the Musketeer. And if you don't have the Mega Knight, well, there's no real there's no real replacement for the Mega Knight. So don't use this deck. I'd recommend using something else like the Lava Hound Balloon that is doing a great job in the current meta. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!